onto this turtle. Oh, they're playing at such a fast pace. Eric, it's in trouble! He needs to try and run away. Phantom steps away. They are still focusing onto this. Where's the retribution? There it goes retribution. Kolya stuns them up with the thousand pounder, but they managed to just move back and disengage. They did get the turtle there. Yeah, let's double check. Oh, hold on. Oh. That's not it! That's not the double checking tiger's evil axe just say goodbye oh. oh. by Rin! Came true. Ooh, luckily Rin was there to, to respond, getting that sword spike at the very end to make sure Kolia doesn't get away with this. I mean, every time they go for these greedy dives, you have to punish them. You have to get etch it out any way possible to get yourself gold. Let's double check battle spells real quick. I'm pretty sure they don't have retribution on any of their members. I think they would have on Rin, but Rin was already down. Yeah, Rin was already down. Yes. Yep. Rin was already down, so now Esports knew exactly what they can and cannot take. Really well done. Oh, but it looks like they want to try and fight this out. They did steal a lot of the jungles, but can they take the lives of the members of Reborn? I mean, again, the snowball is starting to accumulate here. They've already created 2k gold in the first three minutes of the game. That's pretty huge, considering we haven't seen a team play like this, this aggressively, and going for such a high-risk, high-reward composition. Yeah, I agree with you there. But for now, things are starting to slow down a little bit. Looks like Reborn, they're at least biting back. They're not, you know, just playing super passive, super conservative. They are punishing Nara's overextend. Yeah, and XM, XM. He is just very happy to just be around. Hey, look at me. I'm just pushing my lanes most of the time. Oh, Taking these. Oh, no. Dead. Dead. Killing spree. Dead. And now XMXM is going to go down in response to the bottom side but here. But Reborn is going to get a little bit more out of this. This is the problem, right? Long is a more important target compared to XMXM. Yes, he's a Selena, but come late game, he's not going to do that much damage. He's going to be a stun board. And the main, you know, the main carry is obviously Fenrir and Eric. And they are happy to trade it out. They're going to take that mid turret as well. And now Kolya is going to trap Evil X against that wall, but he cannot take the turret just yet. Rin will attack it, Turtle takes the Shadow Base, long, takes the Thought Spike. He will kill off the Daikai. Ooh, again, got to keep punishing Kolya for being aggressive. You want to make those plays? Sure, but you can't get away with everything. Turtle is going to go into the hands of Nara Esports as they will look to rotate across the map to hopefully punish uh, Reborn once Kolya is respawned. Okay, now we're back into level packing. 4 to 4, the kill score for 3,000 gold, and oh, they just want to kill off this Selena. No, He's I trying to oh, change no. things up. He does have the pistol arrow, will slow things out. The way of the dragon will take down Rin, and there goes the kill. But they're taking so much kills, but they're not getting any objectives here, Reborn. Yep, Reborn just unable to really push their lead any further. So, I mean, sure, oh, yes, you get a kill. All oh, Rin's dead. Mega Okay, Fenrir. thanks, bye. I'm out of here as Fenrir continues to move towards the mid side of the map. And again, these rotations every single time. If you play this War of Attrition, if you lose one to one with no objectives, uh, Nara Esports will always come up on top. Okay, they're now trying to rotate up to this top side. They, they're just playing things by the book, right? Go to the top side, get the crap. Kolas gonna be fine. He's a tank. He already has that double courage bulwark completed. And now he's the one gonna be the aggressive care punchy. Should be going down to the deadly magic on the hands of Fenrir, and he's already 5-0-0. Zero, and zero. Yeah, he is just going to take full control over this game, and Eric is just having the time of his life. He's able to free farm well, Fenrir, for the most no. part. Fenrir does get stunned. Oh, Shadow Base Slaughter is there. However, the peel comes true. Fenrir trying to play the ring around the Rosie. He will finally go down the hands of Lo. Lo does have the Aegis. Eric, though, no, trying to tag team out. Can he be the carry that his team needs? And now looks like he's doing what he can. The peel comes true. Silo with the chicken dough. Not enough, and he will take and down in the hands of Eric. Eric. Wow. And they still trade one for one. Not going to be as good because Nara Esports are controlling both sides of the map as Reborn won't be able to re respond as well. But luckily, luckily, Selena doesn't exactly have the best way of clearing the game. Yeah, but the thing is that Selena has been focused so much. Mm -hmm. He has the same amount of gold as, as Eric. Pretty much. So, I mean, they're dividing their resources mm. uh, as much as they can. However, Reborn is just unable Wait. to really capitalize Turtle on any of it. Why soon. does Kolia have a hunting bow. You don't question it. <laughs> He's a professional player. Are you questioning okay, okay. an I, aggressive we'll, we'll see, we'll see, tank? we'll see. But this is an aggressive play coming in. Ooh. Way of the Dragon onto Fenrir. Oh, but wow. where's your teammates? You can't do this alone. And he's the one that's getting focused up. Oh, the turtle gets tagged away by Fenrir. He has that presence of mind to get stunned up, to get focused out, to just zip in, get the retribution, and even get a kill. He's going to get one. Yes, he is. Oh. Fenrir. 
This is not allowed! Oh my goodness, just stop it. He's just one-shotting people with the deadly magic and the full poker trick. It's just not even worth oh. testing. XM, XM, XM gets the stun. And guess what? Fenrir will get the kill. They're not stopping there. Nature's shoe is just going to protect you that much. But with four members of Nara is knocking, you are going to get chopped down. They are so far ahead now. So, so far, they can dive pretty much anybody. And Reborn are just struggling to find the answers here. Let's quickly check the items. How far is Lung off from being able to get his items? Let's quickly look at that. Oh, no. Oh, well, Silo. We'll Silo will get focused up. Oh, but the way of the dragon is that XMXM XM XM needs to walk away for now. Looks like we have a little bit of time. <laughs> You know, we, we didn't want to bring out items because uh, there was a little a bit of fight. Yeah, fight. Potential yep. fight. So now, now we have some time to just see the item progression. There you have it. Looks like he's going to build into the golden staff to get a quicker, earlier uh, spike. But is that going to be enough to deal with someone like Fenrir, who right now is just crushing it? They, they need Athena shoes. They, they need Athena shoes on all their members. They, they Claude will not be able to withstand any damage. Yeah. I mean, unless his tanks can somehow protect him, which in many, most cases won't be. They need to be that front line to let the rest of the team not ascend forward to get to him. We can see Nara, they are definitely happy. And there goes the out with. Oh, Hurricane Dance comes through. Evil X, not even a chance to pop the nature shield. He will go down. The first catch of Forza will get kicked back into the team. He will Eric. go down at least. Eric. It is a 1-1, one -one, but Eric is just free hitting. However, Reborn does have the safety of the turret. They won't back off for now, but the pressure is just insane. Yeah, it, it, this is this is an immense amount of pressure. Even though they've given uh, uh, off seven kills, and they have 12 kills for themselves, you would think they're still pretty even. No, it's not. The objective game is completely out of Reborn's hands. They've got three turrets on top of all those kills. It's already making such a huge difference in the economy. Reborn, you need to find an answer and you need to find it quick because if this continues, you're just going to bleed out. I mean, Reborn just needs to sit back, take a breather, think about what's going on and look to punish. They need to be very effective with their ultimates because right now, not as, as effective as you would want it to be. Looks like Nara putting the camp game on. Gonna put up their camping tents and now there goes Kolya with the hurricane. Now it's gonna pop Silo into a brush and into his death. Courage forward does get popped. They might want to go for even more. They could just siege. They could just siege and look to Lord. pick up pick up some stuff with XMXM, but it looks like Lord's gonna be the primary focus here. They know that they want to end this game. High risk, high reward. They're already rewarding so much that they could easily just close out this game against Reborn. Man, that was gonna make Reborn eat their words. Just like that Reborn seeming like no way back. Nara Esports, they're just gonna wait for Lord to spawn and slowly siege through. Oh no. Oh no. Lord is already back up. Reborn. They can, I, you, they can feel it. They can feel the pressure of Lord walking up ever so closely past that river. They are looking to set up a defense here. I'm not so sure they can come out of this come out of this one without losing an inhibitor at least. I, it could be the, even the game, but looks like Nara Esports, they are gonna try to attack on all fronts. You can see now they're finally grouping back to the mid lane. XMXM, hello, hello. Uh, there, there's a Lord in the enemy base, Kolya yeah, attacks the blender, but doesn't want to take it. Eric X trying to go for it. And now Kolya gonna go disruption and go in deep with the Hurricane. That's why Reborn are coming through. You can see here, Lord is on the other side, just killing off every single member. He's doing so much damage. Kolya's going down as well. Reborn fighting back. XMXM, you are not there to fight, but you're gonna be here to die. And now the rest of the team is just gonna scatter over a Four for two exchange. That was so worth it for Reborn. They come out with two extra kills, and especially on big members like Eric, XMXM, as well as Kolia and Fosa. So, so good. I mean, Fenrir, he can only focus one person yep. at a time. He doesn't have enough damage to really chunk out an no. entire team, but those Athena shields are coming, and the tanks have already locked themselves in to defend against Fenrir. Yep, now is this the comeback? Was that the start, Gideon? I mean, this might be a bigger start than we would have known. Reborn here, turning the tides of the fight ever so slowly, but they need those items. And so far, Loom, with that two-item power spike, with the Demon Hunter Sword and the Golden Staff, was able to make such a difference there. Okay, for now, Nara. It's not the end of the world. They lost the team fight, but it's still a 10,000 goal lead. Oh, yeah. So they do have the momentum still, but might be a little bit harder 
than usual without the Lord. However, that top inhibitor is super low. And yep, that is indeed the target. XM, XM, XM. Gonna be that split push nuisance. Yeah, and you can see the team, they're already gonna get that first inhibitor. They probably don't wanna do too much. And if I was reborn, I'd be oh. looking at. Oh. They pop a lot, and they're just gonna disengage now. Yeah. They can go. Where's the ultimate? Oh, Silo. Shumpo just in time will break that tether. Force our divine judgment gonna be on cooldown for a little bit. But that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, it's gonna be pretty good for Nara as they look to push the waves. They want to break another inhibitor, make it worth their time. For now, looks like they're just gonna back off. They're going to knock on his bottom side. Can they find any targets? Fenrir was the target of Silo. Now he's the one that is gonna get focused down. Eric doing what he can. Silo is super low, but look at the damage. Onto Ballerick will go down. 4v5, the power play will come through. Nara gonna knock down this bottom turret. And now that they're missing the tank, nobody can really do anything about this push here. Kole taking a bit of damage, but he just is too tanky. The damage doesn't even matter. As much as the team is gonna push up, one more inhibitor. Make it worth my time, says Nara. Ooh, the arrow was just slightly whiffing, but looks like Nara is like, okay, okay. We know when to quit. Just gonna back off and reset. I think they're gonna wait for the Lord. Yeah, I mean, at this point, with only one inhibitor turret, it's looking so good for Nara Esports for this upcoming Lord. And hopefully, Reborn, on the other hand, will have enough items to actually contest them here because they pushed up to uh, to 34k, and that means they've already secured themselves two items. The components might just be enough, but let's look at a bit of replay here of what happened. You can see here, Silo was there. He needs to get kicked up, but look at Eric, right? Keep your eyes on Eric. He's doing so much damage. Balleric gets focused out, and that is the strength of carry. His passive just is so, so brutal. He's basically a tank killer, and he 3, 1, and 4 right now. He has so many items. Yeah, and Lord, despite Evil X soon. being able to proc a bunch of his uh, a bunch of his passives multiple times, oh, it really just doesn't matter. Yeah, now nah, he's too far back. Yeah, landed on the long. That was a bit of a scary moment. But I think oh, carry is soloing Lord. Carry Soling Lord. Oh no, oh no, they have no idea. Reborn uh, is looking to push up, but Nara Esports just want to protect them. Yeah, Look for any fight. We'll land onto Silo, Silo, oh. that's you. And oh my god, I didn't know what happened. He just got knocked out, and now this is Nara going for the go. There goes Kampachi Low, doing what? He can with the blazing duet. He's melting as many members, but he just doesn't have enough damage. He will get taken out, and every single member of Reborn is falling, dropping like the dominoes they are. The immortality it's just over. to delay the kill. And with minions in the base, that is going to be game. Nara Esports. They started off shaky against Assassins last week. But this is a message to everyone in the league. We are no pushovers and we are here with a go. I mean, they may be a new team, but they are playing at such a high level. So well done from Nara Esports. Reborn putting up a better, a bit, a much better performance compared to Game One, but still just wasn't enough. And his Nara is so objective-minded, so different from Week One. Yeah, man. And let's look at the end game stats. They mm -hmm. kind of just break things down because this game was it felt very one-sided as well. You, this time, you know, Reborn had a little bit more retribution. Oh well, yeah. But you just couldn't help but feel it was Nara all the way. Pretty much, and you can even see Kole, he knew that he was so far ahead, he couldn't even b bother to buy a Thunderbell <laughs> for himself. <laughs> Clearing waves, dealing a butt-ton of damage <laughs> with that Hurricane uh, with that hurricane Dance. He was oh, cool. Aggressive tank! Aggressive <laughs> tank! This is... How it should be played. <laughs> look, look, twelve percent damage. The mm. damage is insane. And this is, I would like to say, this is a very Nara draft already, right? Oh yeah. Triple hyper carries. Not something we see a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I know Resurgence does pull it out, but look at the damage share. Very equal between all the three hyper carries. And this is the main thing. You You think XM, 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 he's getting focused? Hey, you still have two more carries. But this is something that is really hard to pull off. Yeah. Because if one small little thing, you know, one wrong team fight goes through, right? We saw it. But team fight when two of their carries are killed off, mm -hmm. hey, that's it. 
and you can see that by their composition, even though they do have three hyper carries, right? They want to give themselves the best opportunity. So you're going with the likes of, hey, we have a guy. He deals pre pre a good amount of damage. Fenrir, really, really difficult to, to catch. But more importantly, having the option like the Selena gives opens up so many more avenues, especially when it comes to invading, mm -hmm. that it really messes with the enemy team. Where are they going to attack? Are they going to attack from the bottom side, through that Selena, or through the top side, uh, or through the top side? So it just becomes a big guessing game yeah. that you can't even win. I mean, if you are playing against this kind of strategy, right, what do you do as Reborn? Well, as Reborn, number one, you can't, uh, you, you're looking to get those levels, you're looking to contest for that level four. Let's look at some of the highlights and I can explain it a little bit better okay. because you can see that they're already trying to fight here, mm. but they don't have the levels. They could have just conceded, conceded it over, wait until the rest of their members become stronger, hit their level fours before really considering to take these fights because, again, you can tell that uh, you can tell that Reborn's composition are heavily reliant on their ultimates to really take these games away. And remember that early invade that caused so much issues for Reborn, right? They they could have just converged into it yeah. and kill everyone off. And that was the issue, right? Reborn a little bit slow, but if I'm playing against Nara, I'm telling my team, hey, next time, Reborn is going to invade. Oh, sorry, Nara's going to invade. We need to be ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think they were ready for the first one. After the second one, mm -hmm. the third one, they just weren't sure of themselves. Yeah. And here you can see Reborn was slowly bleeding out. You could feel that they were trying to fight back, but the goalie was just not in their favor. And I, oh, I, you have to, it, you have to admit, Fenrir did an amazing job. Would it be would it be different if you gave Fenrir something like like the Selena instead of the Harley? Would have that, would that change the style a little? Because I feel like Harley could have also gone into that bottom lane, and he does have the better split push anyway. Mm. So is that a way of optimizing the composition, or is it worth it to I, even consider? I think the Fenrir's Harley was really important here because the amount of pick off the amount of snipes that he got was just insane. Every single time he found openings where you felt like there was no angles to kill somebody off, he found some. Off. And Eric as well came out clutch in the later mm -hmm. stages. He was, you know, brave enough to go to the backline. He understood his damage potential. Yeah, and well, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think in these upcoming highlights where they do decide to go for these very big, uh, especially for the inhibitor catch with the rest of the team, and they get punished for it, that he does get caught off. And I think that really, especially Eric gets caught off. Yep, this is the one. Eric <laughs> does get caught off, and the rest of the, uh, Reborn knew what to do. And look, I, I know it's uh, off camera at the moment, but this was where Long just popped off, right? Mm -hmm. Blazing Duet killed so many members, took a double kill, and he went for XMX as well. And that's what Reborn needed. They needed to protect Long. But unfortunately, they just couldn't find enough opportunities to go for it. Lung was really fat. He had a lot of items, but the front line wasn't there. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you have suboptimal tanks. And it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because they did have an opportunity to actually, instead of picking up Belleric, they could have picked up the Minotaur. Uh, a Minotaur. And that could have just changed the game entirely, or it might have not made any difference at all because they have the likes uh, have the likes of Kolia, who is on the Akai. Now, look easily disruptable. Look at his team fight. Uh, almost four members of Nara is lower than fifty percent health, and that's all long, right? Yep. If he had another tank, or, you know, another tank line or something like that, he could have just dealt a little bit more damage over time and maybe win the team fight. Yeah, they just need a bit more mm. peel there, which is so so unfortunate. But congratulations to Nara Esports, two really, yeah, two all solidifying themselves. I can't wait to actually see the standings all later on, because right. that means oh, looks like we're getting some news. Let's look at the standings right now. You are a magician, because there is indeed the standings two zero. Obviously, Icon still up in there, and Nara, surprise, surprise, next to Evos there. Hey? Yeah. Hey? Pew pew pew. They just shot right up the standings <laughs> with only one game loss. They are up to the level of EVOS as of right now. But I think before that, we started the topic of is this team capable of like shooting up into the standings, especially with the benchmark of Reborn? No, um, I mean, we'll have to find out. But with that being said, let's look at tomorrow's matches really, really quickly. Ooh. And that's a big, big one. RSG against GeekFan. That's the first game, 5 p.m. Make sure you're here, man. Nara Esports back at it against Boss Crew Gaming. That's gonna be suddenly that game is super interesting. Yeah, I think Reborn didn't perform as well today, but Boss Crew Gaming so far pretty consistent with their lines of play. So that's gonna be an even better idea of how Nara Esports against most Malaysian teams. But finally, Evos Esports versus Mysterious Assassins. Can Mysterious Assassins out of everybody take a point off of Evos here? They need to turn up. Oh yeah. Right. Last week it was clear, and my A you just didn't feel that they were ready. Maybe after a week, it could be like the Nara thing, right? That's last true. week they were a bit slow. This week, bam, guns blazing. 
I'm more interested whether Shadow is playing. I think Sh I don't think Shadow's plays. No, he's not going to be playing. He, the he he's the coach of the team. Who I I want to see whether or not this team is able to perform, but. It's going to be tough. I mean, against Evos out of all people. But you know what? That's for tomorrow. And with that being said, that means we are done today. NPL Season 3, Week 2, Day 1, done and dusted. And what do you think about today? Today was a very big tell for a lot of these teams. Kind of kind of, kind of adjusting the power levels here. All right, so just like power levels mm -hmm. like going up, going down. Yeah. Who's, who's the highest one right now? As of right now, I Nara's looking real good. Oh, really? Real good. Just based off of today, if they keep it up like this, I think they can go far. Fair enough, but it is a long season, and with that being said, we will have to wreck things up. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a long, long day. <sighs> Oof. Wipe those sweats, but those games were really interesting. For the last time today, my name is Matthew. His name is The Fatal Five Way. This is MPL MYSG Season 3 live on Facebook Gaming, brought to you by Moontoon and EG Network. And not forgetting our legendary sponsor, U Mobile, and our elite sponsor, HyperX. Till tomorrow, see you then. Goodbye.
<laughs> Ooh, that one hurt. Will it oh. be a replicate of game one? Oh, will Reborn reborn into the series? We'll have to find out. Kind of forced mm -hmm. that issue there. My name is Matthew. His name is Defeated Five Away. And of course, this is MPL MYSG Season 3. We are live on Facebook Gaming and brought to you by Moontooth and EG Network. Not forgetting our sponsors, our legendary sponsor, U Mobile, and our elite sponsor, HyperX. See you in a bit.